Yo, what's going on guys? Keck back here with another Animal Jam video. And in today's video, guys, we're actually going to be going over what I think is pretty cool. Some of the biggest trades in Animal Jam history. So this is for Animal Jam Classic. We're going to be going over some of the most valuable trades, pretty much, for the kind of most exclusive items in the game. You know, a few of a kind or even one of a kind items. And these were probably the biggest trades in the, the history of the game. Um, especially a couple years ago when a lot of these items were worth a lot more than they are now. Because I know a lot of them have depreciated in value over recent months but yeah without a further ado let's just hop right into the first trade so here is the first trade here this comes from flex aj um his video called alma i'm getting a beta i obviously i'll leave all of these linked in the description by the way because a uh, majority of these are on youtube uh there was one of these videos that has been taken down um i'm not going to put it in the video because i don't think the owner wants it up but um I have a playlist pretty much that um, I organized here for these trades, but as we can see here, there is a lot of items here, and this is for a beta I, which I don't really know how much it's worth right now. I'll throw the words on screen as you know the video goes on of uh, the items they're trading for. Um, as for the items that are in the trade, that'll take like a ridiculously long time uh, for me to evaluate. Um, if somebody wants to do it in the comments, I'll make sure to like pin the comments, uh, but for me. I, I don't have the time to be researching all that right now, uh, unfortunately. However, I can say this is quite an under trade, especially back then, uh, for a beta eye. It might be an over trade now because um, for some reason people kind of um, value variety items more now um, over something like a beta eye. So it would like they probably would have an easier time trading and, and they would probably get more value out of, you know, these variety items because they're so sought after in comparison to a beta eye, which uh, not a lot of people have a, a lot of worth to trade for uh, for something like this. But uh, yeah, this is pretty much the trade here. Um, he screenshotted it on Puffin um, because he wasn't home i believe he said in the video and he wasn't able to kind of capture it on his phone so he took screenshots instead which is totally fine you know it works uh, for this but as we can see here i believe it is i think seven tan tiki's if i'm not wrong maybe five i don't really know um i think it is five and then five magenta furries uh four beta hoods a black long a blue headdress and a beta blanket which Overall, pretty good deal. Um, as I said, this was a very big of an under trade back then. Um, nowadays, though, I'm not too sure. However, I would, if I had all these items, hell yeah, I would trade it for a beta eye. I, I, I just think that the eye is a lot more valuable than um, a lot of these items anyway. But yeah, that's Flex's trade for his uh, beta eye. Now next here we have a, a trade from Nimichu, which I do believe was not the uh, most beloved Animal Jam content creator back then, but um, he had a video of him getting a beta eye as well, so um, these two are the only ones on YouTube that are uh, trading a beta uh, for a beta eye. There's one Instagram post I'll go over later on in the video as well for a beta eye as well, but yeah, this one was quite weird because this was like the first video on YouTube, I think, of someone getting a beta eye. And I believe um, he did trade quite a bit, um, uh, even less than Flex did. So uh, this beta eye that Nimichu ends up getting here actually ended up going to Flex. So um, regardless, Nimichu did get an under trade for his beta eye, but he still got more than what he originally traded, I think. So that's pretty good for him um, but as you can see the beta ion trade there of uh, galactic cats here so he's trading like a bunch of headdresses and this was back when you could only trade four items at a time as well so it's uh it was quite a long struggle um i believe he said in the comment section or something that his screen recorder wasn't working and that's why he's recorded with um his phone camera here i think which it's kind of weird that you know there's not one single beta eye trade on YouTube that's like actually screen captured properly. Um, there was one, but um, that's now taken down, so I'm not going to include it in the video. But it's so weird to think about. Uh, that's why I think this item is like so exclusive as well, because like there's really no trades documenting someone getting it, uh, like actually. Um, 
So I believe that's like the final trade he does there before he actually trades for the beta I here. Yes, um, I do believe he trades two beta elves in the last trade. Yeah, two beta elves here, which um, I won't get into how he got those because those were more elusive back then as well. Uh, he also adds a beta hood as well as a first glitched ring which I don't think the third ring existed back then, or the second ring. The second ring did exist, but I don't think people knew about it just yet. But uh, there you go, he got the beta eye there, and that's how the video ends. Yeah, overall, this trade was like hugely under, I think. Like if we were to go uh, around today's prices, maybe, I think. Um, but still, really cool item in my opinion. Uh, probably one of my favorites in the game, so. Yeah, always cool to see a trade for a uh, beta eye. And you might have seen of uh, the previous part of the video there, uh, Flex's intro pop up. Uh, but this video uh, is about him trading his magenta wind armor. So Flex has had quite a bit of items in this game that are like extremely hard to come by or few of a kind or even one of a kind, which I believe the magenta wind armor, the member one anyway, is one of a kind still. So um, here this uh, Wumu trades a magenta tux and uh, a yellow phantom rug, which I do believe he ends up s accepting, if I'm not... Yeah, he does end up accepting it. Which, I mean, is a pretty fair trade, but uh, this is the pretty big trade afterwards here. Um, there's three magenta short collars, I think two magenta long wristbands as well. Yeah, and then like a bunch of other variety, including a squash chair in there, which is pretty hard to come by, as well as a magenta sheep cloak. Now, the funny thing about this trade is literally this collar here is, I think, rarer than the wristband now. Um, especially the long one as well. It is a heck of a ton rarer now. This trade is unbelievably overtraded um, and, and nowadays worth. But I believe back then, uh, the short one, I don't think it, uh, there was that many of them in the game. I'm, I, I'm not too sure. Probably a lot less than there was of the long and uh, the collars anyway, that's for sure. But um, yeah, huge trade overall. Um, there's some headdresses there too. And I believe that's the full trade there, if I'm not mistaken. This inventory just looks absolutely insane as well. And uh, yeah, he gets like a few more uh, New Year banners, I believe, as well uh, near the end there. But huge trade overall. His inventory looking stacked. But yeah, that was with uh, Flex's Magenta Wind Armor video. Now this video here comes from Apari, this is the next video. Uh, this is for a Magenta Creature Mask, which actually no longer exists in the game, unfortunately. But um, this was quite an interesting item. It didn't exist for a long time because the person who ended up getting it after Apari ended up getting it banned. I don't know what Apari traded it for or if he like sold it or something. But um, it did ha end up in the hands of someone who ended up getting banned with it. And um, he's searching up Albiex here, uh, which has a magenta mummy mask in this video, which ironically enough, they also got banned with this. So none of these masks exist anymore. However, um, you can see the amount of rares this guy has like stacked up back then uh, to trade for this. So I believe this is... Let me count here, five and then two more, that's seven, and then a light pink headdress. And I believe he adds more to this trade later on to it as well, if I'm not too mistaken. Yeah, he does. That's two tan tiki's, a beta hood, two magenta furries, and two first rings as well. Absolutely crazy trade for this. Um, no, this, this would be hell of an over trade for sure. However, uh, I think this probably would be a more rare than a lot of the magenta items now because the only way you could have theoretically got this is if you had a beta creature mask get hacked from you and animal magenta returned it to you in a, a magenta variant that's kind of how uh that works with like beta variants of items or glitched variants that just get returned in magenta so that's probably the only way uh someone would be able to get this but nobody has a beta creature um, that's, you know, active and willing to try to do that or try to juke Animal Jam, which a lot of people did try to do. Um, so it's kind of a, a kind of huge trade here. Obviously, um, he ends up getting this for this much here because who wouldn't accept this kind of offer? Like, yeah, this item is cool, but all of these items here, 
uh, combined or is an insanity, you know. And look at all these magenta people here as well. It's just like so many. Um, and there you go. He, that, this is his outfit here with a just a, a, a little mysterious cloak and a magenta creature there. Um, he has the glitch pattern as well, which I think is pretty cool. But yeah, that was pretty much his trade here for the one of a kind magenta creature mask. Now the last YouTube video here is from Wisteria Moon. Uh, the quality for this one is kind of bad because I think the original video got taken down. So this is like a re-upload from somebody else's channel. Um, I believe she told me why she took it down was because of the guy she traded. She didn't want to be associated with him. Um, but I think this trade is one of the most um, iconic trades anyway. In terms of the, the, you know, the rarity scene anyway. Because this is the only trade documented uh for this item here which was the pearly tiara which she does still own to this day so i think it's been probably about nine or ten years since this if i'm not wrong um since she got it but um as you can see here she got a pearly tiara and a magenta furry for her beta elf which i, I don't think i need to really state but this is a ridiculous over trade uh, that the pearly tiara alone is an overtrade, but not only did the guy trade the pearly, he also added a magenta furry to it as well. Um, I imagine back then the pearly wasn't as wanted because a lot of people just thought it was fake. Because as you can see here, this is the normal store variant where my cursor is, and this is the pearly. Um, obviously, very close uh, <laughs> variants to them. The, the only d difference is the gems. Um, not a lot of people can tell the difference between them, so not a lot of people would want it for that very reason, which it's kind of weird how Animal Jam has changed nowadays where people don't really care about that. They're just kind of, um, you know, if it's one of a kind, they will trade lots for it type of thing. Um, and, you know, that's, that's how the case would be for the Pearly nowadays anyway, for sure. So I imagine that's why he kind of added the furry along with it. Um, he traded that for the Beta Elf, which I think took them like... A solid like 10 minutes to try to sort that out because one of their inventories was full um, but here's the trade here again the pearly um, on the top this time and a magenta furry for the beta elf and she accepts the trade there and that's how that is so there you go there's her wearing it as well and looks pretty pretty cool overall uh, as I said one of the most iconic trades because it's the only documented trade of the uh the pearly tiara being traded now the last trade here is also for beta i um i believe this was 2021 i think um this was actually a hacked beta i somebody hacked this um and this was a very big owner trade at the time as well for this item um but they traded a lot of variety here you know, and some magenta items as well. I figured I'd throw this in because it's, uh, you know, also another documentation of a, a beta eye being traded. Uh, ironically enough, the only uh, screen recording, I think, um, on the internet right now that's available of <laughs> the beta eye being traded to somebody, which, you know, the beta eyes nowadays, they get traded around a whole bunch, but it's just the people that are trading for them or or are trading them, they don't record them for some reason. I don't know if they think it's like pointless to or what, or they, they just don't see a point. I don't really know, but I think it's th these kind of trades are cool and I think they should be documented more. So, you know, if you are watching and you have a beta eye or you, you, you know, you're trading for one or you're trading for any items like exclusive as some of the items in the video, you know, make sure to record them, throw them up on YouTube or something. Cause you know, it's preserving uh, history somewhat you know so uh there you have it those were all the traits that you know are available right now you know as in video format anyway um that have some of the biggest trades in the game's history um for some of the rarest items in the game as well now i imagine there's probably been other trades that kind of surpass 
uh, some of the works in this video um, or some of the items anyway as well uh, just weren't recorded or you know were only like photographed like screenshotted or something that I you know I can't really find them or anything because I know for a fact there is a lot more and I have been told there is a lot more by people that have been traded with some of these items you know it's just can't uh, you know get it into the video because they don't have a video recorded but yeah as I said you know if you're you're trading around for some of these items I think it's cool if you uh you do kind of actually record it because n never never is there really um an opportunity to other than that you know it's a rare occurrence is what I'm trying to say you know not a lot of people actually take the moment to record those things because they very rarely ever happen some of these items getting traded um I think nowadays anyway for like stuff like the beta eyes they get traded a lot more but you know back then anyway when a lot of these were posted it was like a sight to see type of thing um pardon the pun but yeah let's go to wrap it up here though make sure to subscribe and notifications are on if you guys do want to be notified on future videos as well as videos just like this one make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy it, and let me know what you thought in the comment section below what you guys think about these trades do let me know and i will catch you guys in the next one